Hi there, Marcus here from 4 Um Just want to show you a video of how to configure a remote PayPoint in your business. A uh, remote PayPoint is when you might have multiple point of sale systems um, and you only want a cashier, in other words, a single terminal to be able to do finalization of cash sales. In other words, you want to protect your money, you want to keep your money in a safe environment, might be uh, in a a secure uh, area uh, or at least you would want only one person to be responsible for the money. So typically what will happen is that your salespeople will do the sale on other terminals, on other machines. Uh, they will save the sale and once the sale has been saved, you will then be able to retrieve it on a, a different point of sale machine, which that person will then have access to finalizing the sale and also will have permissions of uh, finalizing to cash or card or check or whatever it may be. Okay, so that's the concept. So if you look at our screens here, uh, we have our main terminal right in front of us. I'm just going to go into the configuration on this machine. In other words, you'll typically log into the PC, log into point of sale uh, as a manager, and then you'll press Control C. Now, when you press Control C, this uh, option 10 here, save vouchers, transactions, we will specify that all transactions will be saved at the server. And we'll also say that we'll use a scanner to retrieve the sale. Now, the scanner is uh, very helpful in the sense that we do not have to go and search for a sale transaction. What we will do is we will literally uh, just scan the barcode on the receipt that is generated by the salesperson. That person uh, or the customer on that terminal would then carry the receipt with the goods possibly to the cash out uh, to the cashier, sorry, um, and then the cashier will simply just scan that barcode. All right, so those two ticks is quite important. Okay, so let's go out. Now I'm going to jump to my sales terminal. Um, so if you look at the sales terminal, you'll see at the top it says you have one open transaction. So then we can identify that it's a different terminal altogether. All right, so I'm just going to do a sale on this PC, uh, the sales terminal, and I'm simply going to call it item one, two, and three. Let me turn the sound off so that it's not doesn't become in irritating on the video. All right, and I'm going to ring up item number two and maybe item number three. And item number three, I'm also going to change it uh, to say that it it will be three items or three quantity of three on item number three and now I set up a special button the default for saving a sale would be uh, shift s I've set it up on a different button I've used my plus key on my numeric keypad just to make it easier and uh, not confusing for the customer. You will see that it flashed printing on the screen there, it clears the screen. Um, the salesperson is now ready for the next sale. In other words, the next sale, I can go and ring up item number one, uh, and that's all the customer wants, and I'm saving that one. Okay, and that's the process. So let's just do one more, two more there quickly. I'm ringing up item two, oh, sorry. Uh, item two and we'll ring up item three okay and save that as well okay so effectively I have three terminals now oh, sorry effectively now I have three transactions that has been saved um, and I'll be able to get copies of those three receipts and then finalize them on the, the master till point as you can see we've now retrieved one of the sales transactions that we've done earlier and the cashier can now finalize the sale or even add more products if the customer choose. So at this stage, the cashier can now tender the transaction or finalize the sale uh, by pressing the tender button, typing the amount of the transaction, and then press whichever button they selected to, to be uh, the cash or card or EFT for that matter. All right, and then printed out a proper sales transaction, in other words, a tax invoice to the customer. And that literally is the concept. Quite simple, quite easy. Um, keep it simple. Don't try and say, but what if this and what if that? 
um, just one last thing I just want to make sure that you understand that the configuration on the terminal which is where I am now on the second machine is the same as the server PC in other words on the server PC we selected uh, the under the vouchers that it must say save transaction at the server and on the scanner side uh, also say scanner used to retrieve the sales that's it enjoy